How are we today, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls all over the world? Today we're going to be talking about discounts and markups. We're going to be talking about percents, things. I'm going to show you a little shortcut with a percent to help you out. And uh, we're going to use it to figure out how much we would pay if we went in and there was a discount or a sale maybe going on. Or perhaps a store is marking things up. Or maybe you're doing some good things and making some money. So let's take a look. Mr. Sullivan buys a Michael Jordan rookie car that costs $300 during a 15% off sale. How much does he pay for the card? All right. So this is made up of two things. It's made up of the original price. All right. So that is $300. We are going to subtract some amount that I get this off for sale, and that will give us our total price. Now, I want to talk about a few things. 15% off. That is very tricky to kids, all right? We like to send out a whole uh, proportion and all the, this stuff, all right? So percent over 100 equals um, the new value over 300, right? So this is what percent? So um we know this is 15, so here we go. I could do 15 times 300 equals 100N. All right, now, for I'm very purposely not going to do anything just yet. I'm going to divide this. I'm going to divide this, all right? And I want to look just at this here. 15 divided by 100 is 0 0.15. 0 0.15 times 300. I want you to look at that because that right there, ladies and gentlemen, I can do a shortcut. All right, every time I would set it up like this, but I can go from 15% to 0.15 times my value. So I'm going to do that right here. So 0.15 times $300 because this is how much we're getting off, right? 15% is the same thing as 0.15. All right, so let's see. What is 0.15 or 15% of 300? It is $45. So the total price is going to be 300 minus 45, which is $255. All for a little Michael Jordan basketball card. Crazy. All right, let's take a look at another one here. In this case, Mr. Bruss is going to the store. He's spending money on groceries. All right, but at the store, especially in the States, you get taxed at 6%. All right, depends on what state you're at, but we're going to say the, ta the sales tax here is 6%. So what is the total price of groceries? See, this one changes because it kind of marks things up, right? I have a amount of the groceries, but I'm adding on this tax. So let's think about this. So my original price is $35.00. The amount of tax, well, I'm going to put this up here. So 6%, remember i got to move that decimal twice. That's 0 0.06. So 0 0.06 times my 35. This is how much I'm paying in tax. Okay? So 0 0.06 times 35, I believe that is $2.10. So for our total, we would add 35 and $2.10, and we'd get... $37.10. That's how much total price he spent when he went to the store. All right. And again, remember 6%. Change it to a decimal by moving the, the decimal or by moving it twice. 0 0.06. All right. I know to move it twice because per cent means per 100. How many zeros are in 100? Two. When I move it from a percent, I make it smaller. All right. Example number three. Mr. Kelly. He's a savvy investor. That means he's a really good at investing. A year ago, he invested this much, $4,500 in Tesla stock. After one year, the value of the stock went up 125%. How much did the stock go up? So how much money did it actually go up? Now, do I want my original and then what I add to to get a total on this one? No, this says just how much did it go up. So we only care about this percent. So 
125%, move the decimal twice, 1.25 times 4,500. So 1.25 times 4,500 is $5,625. So his investment went up $5,625. That's awesome. That's just one year. All right, that's really probably not realistic in most situations, but sometimes things happen. All right, now this question is saying, how much does he total have invested now? That's where we have our original, 4,500, and we add our increased amount, 5,625, and we get his total of $10,125. All right, this is where the tricky part comes in because sometimes I'm going to ask you just what is the total investment or what's the total price or what's the total blah, blah, blah. And so I'm going to, I'm going to ask you how much did it go up or how much did it go down? Oh, let's try this one. Mr. Bra sells his favorite jean jacket. Wicked. After, uh, to Mr. Bean for 35% off. He told him the jacket originally cost $45. How much did he sell it to Mr. Bean for? All right. So we have our original price. And then we're going to subtract the mark down, right? So 35%. So you're going to move it twice. So it's going to be 0.35. So minus 0.35 times the price. All right. Let's see what we get here. 35% of 45 is who knows doesn't matter we could really do all this in a calculator couldn't we 0 0.35 uh, times 45 is 15 dollars and 75 cents and then i subtract that and i get 29 dollars and 25 cents so it was reduced by 15 dollars and 75 cents but the price mr Bean bought it for it was $29.25. All right, guys, I want you to pause the video right now and try this one on your own. All right, so Sully's smart. He waits to buy the new iPhone 24 until it's on sale for 20% off. How much will he pay if the store is selling it for $3,800? So my original takeaway the sale price or how much I'm getting it off, right? So 20% is 0 0.20 times 3,800. All right. So in fact, 20% of 3,800 is $760. Uh, $760. That's how much I'm saving. That's a lot of money. All right. So my price paid is the original minus that which would give me three thousand and forty dollars all right three thousand and forty dollars all right so there you have it good luck with this all right hopefully you set up this equation every time and it's not a problem for you if it is make sure you ask your teacher for help don't sit there and just um get stuck Ask someone for help, a teacher, a friend, someone older, a brother, a sister. Anyone can help, all right? Um, do your best, and we can't wait to see you next time. Peace!